We're here today in the San Gabriel Mountains. It's March 14th, 2007. And we're here to see if the Walters silk moths are flying today. The habitat is typical mountain chaparral with mountain mahogany, ceanothus, sagebrush, yerbas santa, lots of yuccas, and the occasional oak tree. But mostly what we're concerned with is the stands of manzanita host plant. You can see them here as the brighter green color against the olive green background of the other plants. These manzanitas tend to grow in localized colonies in addition to being scattered around the slopes and hillsides here. The altitude at this particular site is about 4,000 feet. And as we pan around to the west and finally the southwest, you can see that it overlooks the San Fernando Valley and the Pacific Ocean. It's a bit hazy today, so you can't actually see the water where you normally would. With us today are a number of small dollar store cages containing virgin females. These females emerged just this morning. This cage here has three of them in it. The female on the left there hasn't even expanded her wings yet. In the paper towels in these cages are yet to eclose females. If you look at the bottom of this female's abdomen here, you can see that it's rounded, indicating that she hasn't extended her sink land yet, so she's not calling. However, in this cage, this female has been calling for about an hour, and you can see that at the end of her abdomen it's pointed, and that's her scent gland there extended, so she can release the pheromone that the males home in on. It's about a 9.30 here, and about an hour later at the top of the hill our first males come in. Now the female's inside the car and the male's not shy at all about going right inside to look for her. However, the wind tends to swirl around a large object such as a car or a tree or rocks. So a lot of times it helps if you take the cage out into an open area where the wind can blow consistently from one direction to the other. This releases a scent plume downwind that the male can more easily home in on. However, we're up here on top of a plateau and the wind's swirling everywhere, so I'm going to set the cage on the ground and that's going to allow the male to more accurately home in on the scent. And you can see now what he's exhibiting is what's known as a close-range search behavior. He's basically oblivious to everything now except getting in the cage to where the female is. And as the wind starts to swirl around and change direction again, he's lost the scent, so he's doing a bit of searching trying to locate it and as soon as the wind straightens out he flies right straight back to the cage and continues. Now he's oblivious so he can be easily just picked up by hand. We're going to go ahead and put him safe and sound into an envelope for a later mating. We're not going to let the males mate with the females until later on because once you do they stop releasing scent and the trip's essentially over. About a half an hour later a couple more males have come in. So we're going to go ahead and take this cage over and set it on the ground. This method worked well before. And here they come. You can see the plants up here aren't very friendly and a lot of these males end up getting skewered and shredded on some of these plants as they search for the female, which adds to the damage inflicted in addition to the predators which take the occasional bite of them as they fly by. Now this male is so focused on getting into this cage and finding the female that he doesn't notice this giant monster trying to grab him here. Or if he does, it doesn't seem to phase him. Now grabbing these guys without damaging them is a lot more difficult than it seems. And here he's basically sandwiched between my fingers and the cage, and he's still undeterred. But we finally do get a hold of him here. And we'll go ahead and put him into the envelope, safe and undamaged. Now we go and try and catch this other male who's circling the other female.
maybe we'll have a little better luck catching this guy. And just get him with his wings over his back. And there we got him. And that's going to conclude today's outing in the San Gabriel Mountains. We hope you had a good time.